Today we're going to take this plus this and we're going to make this. So stay tuned. And thanks guys for joining us for another video. Uh, today we're actually going to learn how to uh, make a, a blackout dome uh, for microgreens such as, uh, you know, popcorn, uh, where they have to stay in the dark for a long period of time, basically the entire grow process, but it also has to, um, you know, be able to grow and have uh, enough room to grow. And, and you know, traditional tray doesn't give the popcorn enough room to grow, you know, the six to eight inches that it needs. So um, when you find these uh, little domes here, they're, they usually come clear and they're not black. Uh, and so what we need to do is we actually need to make it black. Um, and by doing that, uh, we have uh, some Plasti Dip here, which you can get at any, you know, Lowe's or Home Depot or any hardware store. It's only about five dollars uh, for a can of this. Um, and then we have to spray on a few coats. Uh, I'd say, you know, five to six coats onto here um, to give it that nice, beautiful black. Um, you know, it, it's, you, you put it on pretty thin and um, you have to put on a lot of coats because there will be little, you know, tiny holes and light can get in. So we have to make sure that we keep that light out, obviously, to keep their microgreens dark. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so what I did was I actually uh, propped this up on just a, like a piece of cardboard uh, to basically give it a, a little space because otherwise what will happen is if you leave it directly on the plastic and you spray it, sometimes it'll just, it'll stick because it'll kind of create a layer um, of the plastic um, between the dome and the, the plastic, um, you know, sheet here to keep us, to keep the ground nice and uh, clean. So, um, so anyways, let's go ahead check this up really quick you probably want to shake it about 15 20 seconds at the very minimum it should be pretty good and then it's, it's pretty easy it's just as simple as just just spraying on here obviously you want to make sure that this is nice and clean there's no hair or dirt or anything on it um, I washed this a little while ago before we started this video so um, hopefully should be pretty good, uh, but we are outside, so who knows what could be kicked up here. Um, also, if you notice here, there, there are holes over here and holes over here. Uh, there's actually little plastic pieces that allow you to turn and let air flow in, little vents. Uh, you want to make sure that you take those off before we start spraying. So, we've already done that. We have those inside, uh, so we should be pretty good here. So, we'll give this a nice light coat for the first time. Now you don't want to go too heavy. As you can see, it goes on pretty light. Um, and that's why we do a lot of coats. You don't want to um, overdo it each coat uh, because it'll get very uh, kind of blobby and you, you'll get like you know, big cakes of, of uh, plastic and it'll just be really ugly in the end and uh, you'll st see stuff start to run off the side and, and stuff like that. So we just want to make sure we do it nice. Um, we'll, we'll do a lot of coats, just nice, really thin coats. So. Make sure we do the bottom here, this bottom lip. Sometimes you don't get that. Okay. So I would say that's pretty good for our first coat. We don't want to do too much more than that. Like I said, we don't want to get, blo get blotchy. So we'll come back shortly for coat number two. All right, stay tuned. 
Okay, and we are back for another coat. Um, this has been about 20 minutes since we've done our first coat. Uh, and you really don't need too much time between coats. It actually dries relatively quickly uh, if you put on those thin coats. Obviously, put on really thick coats, it's gonna take a lot longer to dry. Um, you can see here, actually, in front, um, it did get a little bit thick. Uh, and we did go ahead and you can see a little bit of a drip right there. So we're gonna prevent that by just making sure that, you know, we don't just go as thick um, at that point. We wanna make sure that we stay thin throughout the entire process. This should be no problem. We should be absolutely, um, you know, covered up. Uh, we still have a lot more coats to go. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get started with the second coat. It's actually sticking a lot better because once you get that first initial coat down, it, it kind of sticks to it and the, it, it, it grasps a lot easier. Uh, so you can, as you can see, after the second coat, it's looking a lot darker already. But I think that's pretty good for our second coat. Um, we'll be back shortly in about 20 more minutes for our third coat, so stay tuned. Okay guys, we are back for coat number three. It's been about another 20 more minutes or so. Uh, it's looking really good. Uh, it's pretty dry. Uh, so it's, it's actually pretty cold today, but we have a pretty good breeze, and I'm wondering if the breeze is causing it to dry pretty quickly here. So, uh, but go ahead. We'll go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and get another coat on this. So. Yeah, that's looking pretty solid. Uh, we'll let this, again, we'll let this dry for another 20 minutes. Um, we're gonna keep on going. We're probably, I'm gonna say we're probably about halfway there. Um, we're gonna empty this whole can. That's our objective, is to empty this whole gan can and get the entire thing on there. Um, again, it's about five bucks. Um, not too bad for making this. Um, I believe the, uh, the plastic we got, uh, the plastic dome, uh, is about $50 for 10 of them, for about $5 as well. Um, so this is gonna cost right around $10 to make. Um, as long as you, you know, you have some of this, you know, plastic and stuff lying around to do this and the tools for the job. Um, but yeah, so we'll come back in uh, a few minutes and uh, we'll see you soon. Okay, we're back for uh, coat number four here. Uh, this is, <laughs> look at this, this is looking really awesome. It, it, we're almost done and um, you can see here, this is, this is looking really cool. So if I hold it up though to the sun, I can kind of see where I'm missing some spots. So I'm gonna know, I know where I'm gonna focus a little bit here. Um, it is still, I'm not gonna say it's, it's, it's really thin, um, but I can definitely see through it a little bit. So we definitely need a few more coats here. Put this down here. It is getting a little windy, so I'm trying to bear through the wind here. Some of those spots I am seeing are from the bottom, so I'm trying to get the bottom a little bit better here. Okay, but I don't want to kick it up too much here. This corner a little bit more. All right, we'll give that another 20 minutes and we'll be back for uh, coat number five. Okay, we're back for our fifth coat here. So I just lifted this up and uh, the only spots that are kind of, I guess, see-through a little bit are kind of the corners here and in these little crevices here. So I'm gonna focus on that a little bit more um, to just make sure we get all the coverage uh, that we can possible, so. All right, we're doing pretty good. All right, I think that should be good. Um, I think we got enough for like one more coat. Uh, so we'll let this dry and uh, we'll do one more. So we'll bear back. Okay, we are going to do the last and final um, layer here. Uh, we have a little bit left in this can. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to get a whole layer, but we'll see. Might as well use it up and try looking great so far.
All right, we're just about empty here. Just trying to use the last bit without overdoing it, obviously. Just trying to get any uh, any corners or crevices that I might see here. I think that's pretty good. All right, we'll come back in 20 minutes and uh, we'll take a final look at it and see what it looks like. Okay, we are all finished up. Um, it's been about 20 more minutes. I brought everything inside because it, it was cold outside. It was getting a little windy. Uh, so I cleaned up, brought it inside here. Um, and this is our final product. Um, this is what we've done. This is what we came up with. Um, it, you know, I, I wish you guys could, could feel it. It feels, if you've ever, you've ever seen like rhino lining in back of a pickup truck, it kind of feels a lot like, like a rhino lining. Um, it looks great. It, it literally looks like it was manufactured this way. It looks so good. Um, you would never tell in a million years that this was sprayed on. It looks really good. Um, so I actually have here um, these little green pieces that it comes with. Um, and this goes in the, um, covers the holes. They're, they're basically like little vents to give it a little bit of air. So we'll go ahead and put those on. Um, so the top ones I put right on. No problem at all. They go right on. Now, the side ones are a little bit different. Um, and so what I've learned with the sides is that sometimes these plastic, it, it comes, I don't know, it, it's not the best shape right here. It kind of seems like it's, it's warped a little bit. And I feel like most of um, these tops um, do that right here. And so if you put it on here this way, it kind of sticks out and the, the light kind of gets through underneath here. So what I figured out is if you actually go ahead and put the vents on the inside, Like so, um, it actually covers the holes very well um, just because of how um, it's kind of protruding the, uh, uh, I guess the, the way it's warped, it's kind of pushing outward. So if we put the vent on the inside, um, it covers that hole a little bit better. And I do the same thing on this side as well. So. There we go, all done. We now have ourselves a, uh, I'm gonna say about an eight inch blackout dome. Uh, and this is gonna be, again, this, we're gonna use this for, for popcorn. Um, I hope you join us for that popcorn grow. We're gonna use this exact dome that we just created. I'll go ahead and put a link for the popcorn um, video right here. So go ahead and click on that if you wanna see it. Um, and you know, thank you again for making this with us. And I wish you guys luck and hope it comes out just as good as you know, it came out for me. Um, so we'll, we'll see you soon and uh, thanks for watching. Hello everyone, Peter here from Princeton Microgreens. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Also, if you have any ideas, suggestions, or questions, feel free to leave them below in the comment box. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.